Well, Australia is a big country with not a lot of people in it and a lot of area to cover. So mobile broadband is important in terms of bringing services to a broad range of areas, both in the major cities, but also some of the extreme outback regions where people get access to run their businesses and their daily lives. Scaling network infrastructure in line with demand growth is a challenge for any operator. Telstra is implementing one of the most advanced telecom networks in the world, covering 99% of the population with mobile broadband. Having the world's most advanced mobile core network makes a good business case thanks to reduced OPEX due to more efficient operations, as for example, lower energy consumption. Partnership with Ericsson has provided Telstra access to early software releases that allowed us to modernise our core network and deliver several world firsts here in Australia, such as the pooling concept, 3G Direct Tunnel, the Blade server architecture, and all of this culminates into having the most uniquely advanced network in the world. Telstra is the first operator in the world to deploy the pool concept for 2G and 3G for both voice and data. Pooling allows core network resources to share the capacity load over a vast geographical area anywhere, anytime people use the network. In general, it releases capacity of up to 25% since fewer nodes are needed. It also increases service availability. To further boost their network, Telstra is the first operator to introduce the new generation of Ericsson's mobile switching center server, called MSC Server Blade Cluster, which is a highly scalable node supporting up to 8 million subscribers in a two-cabinet solution. As the number of subscribers increases, you simply plug in another blade to increase capacity. Full service availability for the users are guaranteed by the hot standby concept. By exchanging 18 regional MSC servers to four new MSC server blade cluster nodes, the whole of Australia will be covered by one national pool located at two sites. Now the advantages for us are a substantial reduction in floor space, a substantial reduction in power consumption. Telstra estimates a data growth rate of about 600% by 2011. The challenge of meeting this type of broadband growth and increasing data capacity in the core network is met by the 3G direct tunnel feature. Network traffic is now sent the shortest and most efficient way to its destination and releasing the traffic load from the signaling nodes. Ericsson provided us the software release of 3G direct tunnel, an early drop. It provided us the capability to move our customer traffic away from key network platforms. That ability allowed us additional capacity, lower latency in the network and overall a simplified architecture. Well we see a great advantage in mobile broadband because mobile broadband can really fundamentally improve business efficiency. It means they can travel less, they can reduce their emissions and they can increase their productivity so it's a win-win. <laughs>